and welcome to Faith on Film, a program designed to keep you informed on all the wonderful things happening in the faith-based film industry. I've got a great show for you today. Tammy Lane has written and directed both live stage and film projects since 2006, which include four large-scale live outdoor productions that have run annually at Capernaum since 2008. She is the director of Washington's Armor, a narrative film series based on the life of young George Washington, 20 years prior to the Revolutionary War. Lane is the president of Capernaum Studios, a unique outdoor film set located outside Weatherford, Texas, where The Chosen and The Penitent Thief were filmed. Tammy, welcome to Faith on Film. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Ozzy? I'm doing terrific. I uh, almost didn't get through that whole reading of the bio there, but... Uh, <clears throat> you know, I'll just, I just digress here. Now, I know you want to talk about quite a few things, including, of course, your, uh, your studios uh, and your latest project, uh, Washington's Armor. But before we even get to all that, why don't we find out a little bit about you and who you are and how you got started in this business? Okay, well, um, I'm Tammy Lane, mm -hmm. and I love Jesus. That's the most important thing is that <laughs> I love Jesus. Um, and about 2005, I guess, uh, the Lord put on my heart to do seven short biblical films. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how it started. Uh, we rented a studio space and we built out this whole studio set inside the, the, uh, the building. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt like, you know, it took a lot of time and effort and then we had to tear it all down. And then, so that's what sparked my interest in, in just building a biblical village, basically. Um, so that's, I felt like the Lord wanted me to build it because he wanted us to be able to shoot here mm -hmm. as well as have other filmmakers come and um, do their projects as well. So you, you had never been involved in filmmaking or television production or anything prior to that? No, um, God just really, he, he does uh, like downloads and he, he just started downloading these, you know what I'm talking about, and it, these things that he wanted me to do and teach. And the more I read and studied the Bible, you know, I just had a passion to do it. And I, I knew a guy that was a producer. He was, um, a, he was my cousin in a, in, by marriage. Mm -hmm. And so I called him and I just said, hey, can you come teach me? Because I had no idea. I didn't know how to do anything. <laughs> um, but he did. He came and taught me and we did those seven shorts. And that was kind of my boot camp training. Oh, wow. Now, <clears throat> on the bio, I read about a series that, that you produced. And actually, that's how I got to meet you. Um, called Mission Reality. Uh, how did how did you come up with that idea? Well, on that one, I was watching a documentary um, on TV about leprosy, people that had leprosy mm -hmm. in India, uh, and and I just really um, I felt so bad for those people, and I really wanted to tell their story, and so that's kind of how it sparked. So I just found. Um, found a guy that had a ministry over there and was is was ministering to lepers and orphans and widows and so it just kind of it just kind of sparked from there and now um, we do a, a ministry over there where we support this help support this orphanage and we do sponsorships for the kids and and all that's been a wonderful thing although I can't go to India anymore because they denied my visa oh wow so hopefully I'll be able to one day get to go back over there. Yeah. So. Well, um, <clears throat> that of course, uh, as I mentioned, is, is how I met you. And that's been a great program that we have on, on Parables TV. So it's an exciting program. Uh, make sure and you know, go to Parables and check it out. Um, so from there, of course, you've, you've created uh, quite a few other content, but um, the, uh, the studio, of course, is something that I have to admit I'm very jealous of because you're living my dream there. I've always wanted that. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's awesome. And it's it's all, you know, God and, and glory yeah. to God. And, and, you know, he expanded it so much. Like I thought, I thought I was just going to build the studio and we would do some films. Mm -hmm. But then he started doing a lot of productions out here and started giving us scripts for that. Yes. And, and so we do those too um, annually. We do four live productions annually. That's amazing. Although now we can't, but yeah, it's it's um, it's an awesome thing that the Lord's doing. 
Great. Well, we're going to take a break right now, and then when we come back, we're going to talk about one of those productions that you did there, uh, your own production, because I know you've done a few other pretty big major productions like The Chosen, of course, but uh, we're going to talk about one that you yourself uh, produced there uh, called Washington's Armor. So when we come back, we'll take a look at a trailer for that, and then we'll talk about it, all right? Great. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back. Got a postcard from the grandkids. They went to the ark. Yeah. What does it say? Well, Annie says they had a blast and that it's really, really big. Everything looks big to a six-year-old. Well, Hudson says it's even bigger than the castle. It can't be that big. Can it? Go ahead. Think bigger. Encourage TV, family-friendly and faith-friendly content, absolutely free. Subscribe today and watch hundreds of hours of content on our streaming channels. Visit EncourageTV.com today. produced a, 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 a television program which I believe is intended to be a series at some point right yes Washington's yes, armor all right I'll tell you what before we talk about it let's take a look at the trailer here so that people can get an idea of what we're talking about roll the trailer where madam do you get your facts it's in your journal sir it is all in your journal some would have to believe today that all of this is the work of chance, and not that of divine providence. Good morning, Major Washington. His lordship said that you are to insist that the governor send you with a letter addressing Mr. Christopher Guest. They butchered him in front of his wife and children so that no provincial, nor Indian, not loyal to the French, would dare venture to go where you and the governor would have us go. Many in the House believe your trip to the French Commandant to be theatrics, to induce public sentiment both here and abroad for war. How, George, do you respond to this indictment that some would say to be unreasonable reasoning in the age of reason, sir? Be the very consequence if the boy dies in the wilderness. He led us into Ottawa territory. That Indian will find his brothers and they will hunt us down. He eats. And do you think like a boy? What is your name, madam? To you, my dear boy, I am simply Sally. Say your goodbyes, Major. Sit nay, Mr. Giss. We are not only emissaries of the crown, but ambassadors of the divine. We shall cross, and without delay. That, first of all, seems really amazing. What a, what a great job you guys have done. Um, so tell me a little bit about this. Thank you. Um, it is such a blessing. You know, I've wanted to do this story for about 10 years. Um, I read a book called Bulletproof George Washington by David Barton. 
And I saw this story and I thought, oh my goodness, nobody even knows this. I mean, I wasn't taught this story in school. So right. um, I, it, it's about young George Washington before the rev- 20 years before the mm-hmm. Revolutionary War. And it, and he's gone through such amazing um, circumstances and survived that you would think people would not live through. So it's God's divine providence that's protecting him. And so I really wanted just to bring that out in the story and mm-hmm. history and the founder of this country. So it's just it's um, it's super fun and exciting, and we've done one episode. So we're gonna we're planning on six episodes. Okay. And we've okay. done one so far. So why was this story that important for you to tell? I just feel like that um, there are a lot of people trying to say that George Washington was a deist, um, that he was not a believer. He, he wasn't uh, a Christian, and that bothers me because I've read all his writings. I mean, clearly, right. clearly he is a Christian, and he, um, he believed God, and he knew that God was protecting him. He knew that he had a calling on his life and that God wanted him to do this um, and where he was bringing him. But it's, I love seeing stories about people that just start the, their life, you know, starting out and how God kind of orchestrates it and and opens up that path for them to follow to to really go into their calling on their life that he's given. So that's kind of what we show when we show him um, meeting Martha and um, we're it's it's a really really awesome really exciting. So uh, we're about to start shooting again pretty soon. So. Oh that's that's fantastic. Um, <clears throat> so while this of course has, uh, let's say some faith element put into it because that's obviously what you wanted to share there. But because it's a historical piece, would you say it has a, a more of a crossover appeal that even non-Christians would enjoy watching this? Yeah, you know, we're we're trying to get it on uh, network television. That's going to be our first uh, line of attack, <laughs> so to speak, um, because it does. It's not like in your face and mm-hmm. it's not... Um, overtly, but it does tell about his faith. This is who he was, right. and this is you know, and it just comes out naturally instead of it just being you know more o- overtly Christian, which I have no problem with those. Sure. But for me, my my calling is to to do these top stories. Yeah, I no, I agree that uh, <clears throat> you know you you kind of need both types. You need the the movies that you know. Uh, in essence, preach to the choir because the choir does need to have some some good fun entertainment to watch. But you also need those crossover films that I think will reach the non-Christian and hopefully at least at the very least plant a seed that they will then want to pursue uh, learning more about. Yes. And then also they can learn the truth about yeah. the foundation of the country, you know, and and so the father of our country. Yeah. So there. Pretty- there seems to be a lot of revisionism going on where, where uh, suddenly the, the secularists want to remove a lot of the fact that this country was to, was founded on faith. Mm-hmm. Yeah, biblical principles, yeah. you know, that's just what they were taught. That's they their parents and their parents, and, you know, it just went from generation all the way back right. to the, the uh, Mayflower people. Now, if people want to know more about this particular uh, series, where, where would they go? How, how could they find out more about it? They can go to washingtonsarmor.com, and we we try to keep that updated with any new information. We've been casting recently and uh, still doing that, and we're going to be you know continuing that for the next month, I guess, and then and then hopefully we'll be shooting soon after that. Um, and also you know acquiring crew and whatnot. Um, and then they can also go to. Uh, CapernaumStudios.com and get to Washington's Armor that way as well. Okay. So you said you're looking for more casting. Does this look like the face of somebody from the uh, Washington's uh, time? 
<laughs> yeah, sure. If you want to shave your beard. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I can't do that. My wife would uh, would disown me at that point. She'd divorce me because I don't have a beard. She's always want, liked for me to have a beard. Yeah, uh, well, anyway, no. none of this is important here. So, what is important is that we're going to take a break right now, and when we come back, we're going to talk about your studios. Which, again, I remember when you know when you had, the first time I met you or the first time I went there. Um, you know, you had the the Capernaum Village, which is a uh, uh, basically a replica of Capernaum. Uh, but I've seen it recently, and my goodness, you have expanded that thing so much. Uh, I just love being there. I wish I could live over there close to you just so I could be there every day. Anyway, when we come back, we'll talk about that and, and uh, give information on maybe some people that might need uh, to use studios like that, all right? Awesome. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back. bigger than that. Like the size of two houses. No two houses in a spaceship. I bet it's even bigger than the castle. Don't be ridiculous. That's impossible. This summer, think bigger. Meet Will. Will wants to make a movie based in Bible times. No, maybe a Western. Well, maybe an apocalyptic movie. A biblical era apocalyptic Western? That would be so original. But Will needs some sweet sets to bring it to life, and Will is 25,352 miles away from any of those sweet, sweet sets. Or so he thinks. Fortunately for Will, there is a solution. Introducing Capernaum Studios, your ticket to realistic locations and everything else you need to bring your period accurate story to life. Book a tour today, like Will, who is, um, yet to leave. Hello, welcome back to Faith on Film. We're here with uh, Tammy Lane, and we're going to talk about something that is just so near and dear to my heart, and that is the studios, the film studios. But before we get to her, let me show you a little bit about what those studios are all about. Wow, Tammy, that uh, that is a beautiful place, I have to admit. I mean, uh, again, a dream, a dream, a dream. And I'm glad that you are uh, actually bringing it to reality. How, how's the, how did that come about again? I, I know you talked about it in the previous segments, but, I mean, what you've done with it is amazing. You, you just can't seem to stop thinking about what else to add to that. T tell us a little bit about it. Oh, my goodness. My husband's like, stop expanding it. Now stop. <laughs> but I don't want to. Um, yeah, so we, we have the garden. Mm -hmm. um, that's a 30,000 square foot statue garden that's got some cool top stuff in it. Um, 
and we just built a sound stage, our first oh, sound nice. stage. We want to build more of those, but of we um, finished this one, and we're pretty excited about it. We're going to be using it for Washington's Armor, and hopefully other people are going to come use it. The village has expanded, and a lot of it, we did the Crimson Experience, and that helped us expand part of it, and then the Chosen came, and they wanted mm -hmm. to build some extra stuff, so that that was awesome. So we've just kept kind of what they, you know, mm -hmm. added on because it looked awesome, as you know if you've seen that. <laughs> You'll hear. Um, and and a cool thing about uh, Capernaum Studios is that we have the hilltop house, what we call the hilltop house, and that's where cast and crew can stay. So it's got six bedrooms and. Isaac, I want to build lodging so bad. Yeah, That's what yeah. if we could expand with lodging because we're kind of way out here. It would help people so much. So that's our our prayer. Wow. <laughs> That's what we're praying for. One one thing that I just really loved was you have this little town. It's just a little, you know, Americana town. Uh, uh -huh. And then you have a duplicate of the same town. Uh, all kind of torn apart as though some kind of earthquake or something happened. I mean, that... That, I was so impressed with that. Well, that that we built that because we did the Apocalypse Experience, mm -hmm. which is our end time based um, live production, and and so yeah, we have this set that's a little small town America Main Street yeah. USA a little set, and then behind it is the same set, but it's a disaster town, like after a a earthquake basically has happened. So <laughs> there's yeah, a lot of set back in there too there's a lot of little areas that mm -hmm. look like you know once more and right. all kinds of stuff and then we have our new washington's armor set um, we've got this cabin we've got a fort um so we, we you know we're expanding it it's pretty wow. awesome the only thing left for you will be to put rides in like universal studios <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be so fun? I would love that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I, I think it's... Uh, do you give tours of the place? I mean, outside of the productions that you, uh, you, know, that you put on there, do you do tours where people can just come in and, and look at it? Yeah, we do. Um, right now, we're doing it to where people call and they, right. they right. book a tour. But I'd really love if we could get it someday to, to where we could be open all the time and pe people could come in and we could give them a back, back lot tour. Yeah. Um, that would be really cool to be able to do that. So, right. But yeah, people can just call and some people will just stop by and go through the garden um, and want to see everything and go through the village. So, sure. I, yeah, we do. All that's kinds amazing. of stuff. Now, <clears throat> I know that you're, of course, you know, uh, looking for filmmakers to maybe come in and uh, use the facilities and produce their films there. Uh, but are you looking at all for perhaps investors? Uh, you say you want to expand and you want to build more. Are you looking for investors? Oh, yeah. We would love that. That would be amazing. That would that would help us to build lodging, mm -hmm. you know, because... Um, that's that's a big need. We also are needing a bigger space for like meals and stuff because we have um, we have uh, content not content nineteen or content twenty. We can, we have right. it at Capernaum, and there's you know there's not very there's not enough space for everybody. Yeah. Um, we want to expand that. I mean, we fit everybody in there, but it's just a little tight. <laughs> so yeah. if we could have you know some more yeah. space to do that that would be amazing oh, we just want to be able to accommodate people you know sure. and it's a special place we want to share it with everybody and we want it to be um a place where people can just relax and, and enjoy it and, and fit in there <laughs> right so. right well i don't know who my viewers are you know but there may be somebody out there if you're out there and you're uh, looking for something to invest in i think this would be the great thing to invest in because not only is it a good business to invent uh, to invest in but it's also a kingdom business uh so i don't know uh, maybe that gives you Double ROI. I don't know. I, I'm just. I'm just saying. I think this is a great thing. If you're interested, um, Tammy, how do they then get a hold of you if they want to talk to you about this? Well, we have our website, which is mm -hmm. CapernaumStudios.com, um, and we have. It, so you can go to the film page and everything. Uh, my my email is Tammy at TammyLaneProductions.com. Okay. And you can you know contact me there. 
So I would love to hear from anybody, and, and especially if you want to come out and film, um, yeah. you know, in the near future, then that would be great. We can set something up, and we can give tours so you can see the place. So, yeah, that's be awesome. terrific. Well, Tammy, uh, we've come to the end here. So thank you so much for uh, taking the time to be with us and share all about what you're doing. Uh, hopefully somebody will reach out to you and say, hey, I think I can be partners with you on this. Or they just call, you know, write, write to you and, uh, and even just pray for you and encourage you, all right? Yeah, that would well, be awesome. Thank you, great. Isaac. You I'm bet. Creative. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Encourage TV. Family-friendly and faith-friendly content absolutely free. Subscribe today and watch hundreds of hours of content on our streaming channels. Visit EncourageTV.com today. Where, madam, do you get your facts? It is in your journal, sir. It is all in your journal. Some would have you to believe today that all of this is the work of chance and not that of divine providence. Good morning, Major Washington. His Lordship said that you are to insist that the governor send you with a letter addressing Mr. Christopher Gist. They butchered him in front of his wife and children so that no provincial, nor Indian, not loyal to the French would dare venture to go where you and the governor would have us go. Many in the House believe your trip to the French Commandant to be theatrics, to induce public sentiment both here and abroad for war. How, George, do you respond to this indictment that some would say to be unreasonable reasoning in the age of reason, sir? Be the the consequence if the boy dies in the wilderness. He led us into Ottawa territory. That Indian will find his brothers and they will hunt us down. He eats and you think like a boy. What is your name, madam? To you, my dear boy, I am simply Sally. Say your goodbyes, Major. Said nay, Mr. Giss. We are not only emissaries of the Crown, but ambassadors of the Divine. We shall cross, and without delay. Well, we have come to the end of another show. I want to thank you for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed hearing from Tammy today. If you want to know more about Capernaum Studios, remember, just go to CapernaumStudios.com. That's CapernaumStudios.com. I also want to remind you that I want to hear from you. I'd like to get some emails, find out how you're enjoying the show. Maybe one of these days I'll even take some time and read some of your emails. Uh, simply write me at FaithOnFilmTV at gmail.com. That's FaithOnFilmTV at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out Parables, a place where you can watch some great movies, documentaries, reality shows. You can watch the series that Tammy Lane did uh, called The Mission Reality. So simply go to www.parables.tv. That's parables.tv. Well, until next time, remember, if you want to keep your soul healthy, you got to feed it some good, healthy entertainment. So till next week, take care. <music>